Hello guys and welcome to another video. I know I said I was going to be on this YouTube thing like posting every week. Yeah I kind of flopped at the first hurdle but I'm on it now. I'm here to stay. This may have been the sixth time I've said that but this time I mean it so there's a difference. Yeah. But today the subject we are talking about is why does my birthmark change size on every social media platform is it real is it fake is it makeup i know my birthmark gains me a bit of clout right but that does not mean i wake up every morning and go right where's the red shopping time to get famous i mean anyone that is willing to fake a birth defect for clout, that's just... But, on a serious note, my birthmark is real. I just wanna get that out there. Um, I... I've spent years trying to hide my birthmark. There was actually a period in my life where I convinced myself it wasn't there anymore. Now I'm having to prove that it's real it's just crazy to me. It is a port wine stain birthmark. It's not that common. I think one in every 12,000 people have one. That's probably fake. I just said that off the top of my head, but you get the point. As we're going so in depth about my birthmark today, ooh, I wanna give you guys like a little story. I wanna give you guys the background, more context about it, how it's affected me. I was born, right, on the 31st of December 2001, the girl's nearly 18, came out my mum's private parts and I didn't have a birthmark. Then my mum went to breastfeed me and when she like lifted up her boob and took me out she was like, <gasps> she thought that she'd squished me. <laughs> it's just that the pigment took some time to actually come through on my face, that's why for the first like 20 minutes when I was born it wasn't there and then it was. Um, anyway, moving on, from then until about year six, so the age of like 11, I didn't even notice my birthmark. I was the craziest child. I was so bubbly, confident. I'd go and talk to anyone. Like, genuinely didn't even know my birthmark was there. I just looked at another child and thought we're the same. No one ever mentioned it to me. If they did, it'd be the back of my mind because I'm too busy trying to make friends with someone else. And then came secondary school. That completely ruined my life. Um, when I joined secondary school, my confidence was like, and my insecurities were like, shh. It's like there's little sound effects. Um, so the first year, again, I was still quite oblivious, naive, and just like doing my own thing. And then I started to get a few comments. Is that girl on a house fire? Who's been painting on her face? Oh, is everything okay at home? And then at that point, I was like, okay, right, something's wrong with me. I think I started wearing makeup in year eight to year nine and I didn't actually know how to do makeup then. <laughs> so the only thing I had to cover my birthmark was concealer. I think it was my mum's concealer and I genuinely walked around school looking like this. <sighs> Yeah, I've got sneaking too long. The red thing on my face. Don't know her. This was unacceptable. So all of you lot in year nine and year eight that lets me walk around looking like this, you should be ashamed of yourself. And then came the time where secondary school said, oh, you're year 10 now, you can add a bit more makeup. I completely abused this rule. I started going in looking like the annoying orange layers layers oh ah. i'll see if i can find a picture i'll try and insert one here i don't know who this one is towards the middle of year 11 you know jesus sees i'm getting stressed out and waking up at six o'clock every morning to pile on all that crap onto my face just wasn't working for me anymore like giving people a hug and leaving a print of my face on their t-shirt and looking like an alien underneath i weren't feeling that lifestyle no more at this point I kind of convinced myself that 
It's not there. Birthmark who? Birthmark where? Tell me where. 12 mark question. Where? Yeah, I'd even sleep with makeup on so I'd wake up the next day and it'd barely be there. So I'd be like, mm, see, she's going, she's faded. I honestly thought that only my best friend and my parents knew that I had my birthmark. I thought everyone else had just forgot. And on a more serious note, I did end up getting really sad and I was like, kind of like, I just hate life. Just give me a normal phase. Oh my God, that kind of stupidness. I did try and get rid of it. I had an appointment um, at this place they do laser removal surgery. I went in there and I was just like, so like, how are we gonna do this? How's it gonna work? Come on. And they were like to me, they were like, yeah, you're gonna have to go privately for this type of thing. I was like, right. So you're telling me you can't do it on NHS, no? And they're like, no, no, sorry. Yeah, this is something that has to be done privately. We can't do it on the NHS. Um, it's only gonna be like a grand plus, so. And plus. Mm. Well, fuck you. Diva just sort my life out and start loving myself or scraping up the pennies to get a damn surgery that'll probably go wrong and leave me looking even worse. I spoke to my bestie. My, my bestie. Beck. She just said to me, she was like, why don't you just post a picture of it? Because at this point, it had been erased from my life. Social medias, everything. I deleted all old pictures. I even asked people if they had a picture of me without, like, can you please take that down? And Beck was just like, just post a picture with a cute little caption, just explaining like, this is, this is me. I don't know why I've been trying to hide it. I had been dwelling on this for days. I was literally sitting there like, should I post? No. I... I thought, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm sick and tired of trying to paint my face on every day. Like this is who I am. Took a picture of myself. I photoshopped it to the max. I was like, listen, if I'm coming out with my birthmark on my face to the people of social media, I need to be looking like a Kardashian. So actually this picture here, this is the first picture I ever posted of my birthmark. I did a cute little caption like, oh, this is me guys. Ooh. But yeah, and then it's got me to where I am now. That's basically the story of me and my birthmark. I love myself now. I think everyone should love themselves. I just, I feel like we just need to break out of that mold and genuinely just love who we are and be who we are because I'm at a point in my life now where as long as I carry myself well, as long as I'm kind to others, my appearance is nothing to do with you. Okay, I'm gonna go out, if I look like a troll, if I wanna go to the shops in my pajamas, just let me do me because I'm not, I'm not offending anyone, you know? So the main point of the video, why you all probably clicked. Are you ready? I don't know if you are. The main reason why my birthmark switches sides in different pictures and videos is because... Cameras. It's because of different cameras. Can you... Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe you all know. It's, it's amazing, isn't it? It's just like magic, really. It's because of different cameras on different apps. Um, that's all there is to it. If you take a picture on Snapchat, right you're getting a mirrored image of yourself so the picture you take on snapchat is literally how you would see yourself in a mirror for example i do that and i'm taking a picture my birthmark is on the side that i see it on this is where it gets confusing when i look in the mirror my birthmark is on my right side okay that's, that's also the same for tiktok so tiktok is just a mirrored image of yourself how i see myself my birthmarks on the right side however just to confuse things even more when i take a picture on either back camera or front camera, it flips my face. And when it, when it, I'm just always like, why are you trying to make me look ugly? So the front and back camera of your normal camera on your phone actually shows your appearance how other people see you. Okay guys, just a disclaimer, my neighbors have decided to have a little gathering outside their front door. I don't know why, but if you can hear <laughs> every five minutes, it's because they're trying to just chat the business and ruin the video. Like I was saying, so yeah, so when you take a picture on either front or back camera, it flips your face and you're thinking, oh god, that is how other people see you. So if you don't like that image, think about how other people feel. <laughs> that is all there is to it. So when people look at me, apparently they see my birthmark on the left side. Yeah, when, when other, it, it's really like 
all of you lucky people with symmetrical faces, you won't even know. Like you'll take a picture and your face is so symmetrical that I bet even on camera it doesn't change. But let me tell you, if you have like a something distinctive, like a beauty spot, a mole, and one side of your nose is bigger, take a picture on snap and then take a picture on back camera or front camera and compare these two and you will see that it flipped your face. There we go guys. It's all explained, it's all out there in the open, there is no magic involved, there's no, you know, I'm, I'm not fraud, I'm just trying to do my thing and spread love to the people. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, I shall see you in the next video, which will be next week. Bye!